about recipes you'd like to see on my channel, please comment below. Thank you. Today I'll be making a St. Patty's Day cake. You'll be needing a either white or yellow cake mix, vegetable oil, eggs, club soda, green food coloring, pistachio pudding, the instant kind, pecans, and Cool Whip. Let's get started. I'm addressing the issue that there are some of you out there that have nut allergies, so you can't make this cake. But I'm going to give you three different directions so you can make three different cakes, your choice, that don't have any nuts. The first one, you're going to take your normal white or yellow cake mix and put some green food coloring in it. And to frost it, you're going to mix green food coloring in with your Cool Whip. That's version number one. The second one, you're going to either get French vanilla cake mix or vanilla cake mix. Add a teaspoon of vanilla extract for all you vanilla lovers out there and your green food coloring. And mix that up and frost it with the green Cool Whip. Version number three will be for the mint lovers. You're going to put the green food coloring in the cake like you did all the other versions, except you're going to add a teaspoon mint extract and you're going to frost it with the green Cool Whip. That's three different versions for you. You can pick whichever one you want. That way you can have your St. Patty's Day cake too. Preheat the oven to 325. All I did just now is empty the cake mix into my mixing bowl. Now I'll be adding the stuff according to the box. The first thing I'm going to do is add the eggs, but I'm going to show you my little secret on how to prevent a bad egg from getting in the mix. I have to get my cup to do it. I will be cracking them in my mug that I got from shamsdon'tcare.online. It's my friend Shams website. She's on Wix. Feel free to join her site and pick yourself up a mug. And now I'll be cracking the eggs into the mug then I'll be putting them in. Because that way if you have a bad egg you can easily toss it out from the cup then wrecking your batter. So that's how I do it. This one is good egg. I'm adding. I added all four eggs into my bowl. And now I'm going to be adding the pistachio pudding. I'm going to be adding two packs. Now all I'm going to do is open up the packs like I already did and dump the two packs of pistachio pudding in. Next going in is a one cup club soda. I'm going to put some pecans in there. I'm not really measuring them. I'm just doing like a handful one handful and now I got to do the half a cup of oil so I'll be back to add that after I measure it I already added the half a cup of oil to this so now I will be starting to mix it don't worry I never forgot the green food coloring I'll do that after I mix it well at the end I have to do this for two minutes so I'll be back in two minutes since it's actually real thick, I'm going to actually add a little bit more club soda to it to thin it out a smidgen. Just a little bit more to make it a little bit better because the blender's having issues going through it. So now I'll just blend it in. and continue blending. See? It's nice and thick. I'll be back after it's done. Now I'm going to add the food coloring. And I'm trying to keep the food coloring away from me and in the bowl. Because I don't want to end up green. I already got some on my thumb. But that's okay. I like looking like a leprechaun anyway. I'm short enough. And I put a couple drops in there. Then I'll blend it to see if it's green enough. You just add the food coloring to it, the green that you actually like. I'll blend it a little bit. You see? And you can see it changing colors. I use 
the yellow cake mix this time. I dyed it to the color that I like for the green. You dye it to the color that you like. Now, I added a little bit more club soda to make it easier for the beater to go through. And I didn't really count the drops on how much food coloring I added. You just go by how it looks. If you don't like the green, just keep adding the color. If you want a lighter green than this, what you can do is use a white cake mix instead. That way you could get an almost a pastel green. Now, all I'm going to be doing is transferring it from here to here. Now the oven is preheated to 325 because it's a non-stick pan. For the metal pans, they said, or glass pans, 350. So now I'm going to be transferring it. Let's see if I can do this on camera. Let's see. I'm trying to do it on camera without causing a mess. I'm trying to. I'm a klutz and a half in the kitchen. That's why I take my time doing this stuff. Because I am so accident prone. It's unreal. Make sure before you put it in the oven, you want to smooth it out with your spatula to get it level. And bang it on a counter to take out the air bubbles. And I'll give you a clue about this type of cake. When it gets done... It would look brown on the edges. That don't mean it's burnt. It's just the way it looks. So don't throw it out. Trust me, I found out the hard way. There's nothing wrong with the cake. It just looked dark on the outside and it's perfectly fine on the inside. It's not burnt though. The frosting will cover it up. I just put the cake in here. You have to time it 38 to 43 minutes. I like St. Patty's Day. It's fun. I'm short enough to be a leprechaun though, but I just wish I had that pot of gold. Can't find it. Never had it. On a serious note, to check the cake, you are going to need to use either a toothpick or I got these wooden skewers. They work too. I use these for my mock chicken legs and shish kebabs. Same skewers for that. That's how you go and check it. When it comes out clean, it's done. Now I'm checking my cake to see if it's done. It's been time. It's been 38 minutes. We'll see if it's done. Is it done? Nope, not done. You gotta go back in. It's not done. Now I'm gonna check it again to see if it's done. Now, like I said, it looks brown. But it's not burnt. Let me see. Yep, it's clean. It's done. So now I'll just let it cool in the pan before flipping it onto my cooling rack. I'm letting it cool in the pan 10 minutes and I'll transfer it to my wire rack. Now I flipped it. So now I'm going to be taking it out of the pan. Let me get me a knife to get it out of the pan. I shouldn't have to use it, but I think I have to at least... Get it out of the pan. Come on. Uh, it's stuck a little bit. Come on. It did stick a little bit. But what we're going to do is we're going to cover it up with frosting. No one's going to know. See, what I'm doing now is I'm putting the pieces back on the cake. And we're going to get this one out. And I did use the um, spray in here. It should not have done that. But it did. That's okay. Because it's going to go back on the cake. We'll just frost it. 
once the frosting's on, no one's going to know what happened. Yeah, I'm basically doing cake surgery. We're going to make it look all nice and pretty. You put enough whipped cream on it, no one's going to even know that it had a boo-boo. You can, well, at least you can see the color of the green that I have. You can see the color. There we go. There we go. Once it's frosted, no one's going to know it had a boo-boo. We eat our mistakes around here. That's what it looks like after I did surgery on it. Once it's frosted, no one's going to know that that happened at all. I transferred it to my serving platter. So, all I got to do now is frost it. Now I'm going to be dying a Cool Whip. Since I don't know whether it's going to take one container of Cool Whip or two, I'm going to dye them both at the same time. That way it's consistent. In case you need the second tub, you already have it dyed. So, first thing I'll do is just add the Cool Whip in to my bowl. I'll be doing both tubs to make sure I get them both in. And I'll start off with a few drops and keep adding it until I get the desired color that I like. You dye it whatever color you like for the green. Now, if you want to do something like this for Christmas, instead of doing a green food coloring, you could either do have your cake red and keep the cool whip white so it looks like a candy cane or vice versa so it still looks like a candy cane and if you want to put peppermint extract in it you can now I'm going to add a couple drops maybe about five that's about five let's mix it both together to see what color it's going to be. It's probably going to take more than that. Yeah, it's very light right now. It is very light. It's pretty, but it's very light. Now I'll be frosting the cake. Since I'm a klutz and a half, and I full limit I'm a klutz and a half when it comes to frosting. Especially when I have it on a fancy doily. Normally, I don't care. But since it's a holiday and I'm trying to make it nice and fancy looking and look professional, I normally don't look this professional, I ain't gonna lie to you, I will be doing it with foil on the side and just trying to keep it off the doily and frost it. Come on. Because I don't want to get it on a doily. Now I'll be back after I frost it. Considering the fact that I'm generally in clutch and a half, it looks pretty decent. And you can't tell any of the parts came off. And I did, did like a doctor and put all the parts back on for that came off on a pan. You couldn't tell it. Enough frosting can hide stuff like that. Now I'm going to put some pecans on the top. So people know that it's a nut cake. Now I'm just going to do the top. I got more food coloring on my hands than I did in the Cool Whip. So I'm just going to do a little bit on top. That way people with nut allergy knows that they can't have this cake. They can have my three others that I mentioned earlier in my video. That is what it looks like done. Thank you for watching. Now, I have a very important message at the end of this video. Stay tuned. Make sure if you like my content, please like and subscribe. But the most important message I was telling you about earlier was make sure with all the creators that you follow, whatever channel you follow, Make sure to go back and check 
to see if you're still subscribed and your notifications is turned on. They've been turning off notifications and they've been unsubscribing people. It happens randomly. It's happening on my channel too. But make sure your favorite people that you love following, you're still subscribed to. And you're getting all their notifications. Make sure your notification bell is turned on. All. That way you won't miss out on, on anything. Yes, it's a common problem. It's not just me. It's all the creators having this issue. So make sure you still subscribe.